Turning now to a massive potential new spending push from the Biden administration, we're talking about reports of up to $3 trillion, that's with a T, to be pumped into the U.S. economy. That's if the proposal's backers can get their way on that. Nancy Cordes is at the White House with more on this story. Nancy, good morning to you. Sure seems like a tall order with everything that's going on there these days. Gail, it is a very ambitious plan. It has to do with infrastructure, the next big item on the Biden agenda. We're told that within the next couple of days, President Biden's economic advisors are going to be briefing him on a proposal that they say will create jobs. And it involves spending about a trillion dollars reportedly on improvements to roads, bridges, even the cellular network. That's the physical infrastructure piece. And then more money would go to investments like free community college, universal pre-K, and paid family leave. They call that human infrastructure. So this is a very aggressive plan. And the challenge for Democrats here is that the Senate is so closely split that it's just as hard to push this through without bipartisan support as it is to pass other big priorities for Democrats like immigration reform, gun safety and voting rights. And in this case, if Democrats try to pay for these infrastructure initiatives with higher taxes on wealthy Americans or corporations, then it's going to be very difficult to pick up any Republican support. Tony. All right, Nancy, thank you very much. Too.